Hi everyone, um, welcome back to another series in um, the classroom management series. Um, welcome to Valangi Art. Um, if you're new to the channel, this is a channel that is all about um, art tutorials and classroom management, so um, it gives you ideas on both platforms. Um, I have my coffee, I hope you have yours, and um, this is all about keeping it real in the classroom. Um, so let's get started. With um, realizing that as an educator, um, parents are instilling uh, their trust in you as an educator um, with their most important treasure in their life. Um, so for me, I'm a mother as well, and I have two boys, and they are absolutely, the they mean the world to me. Um, so I, I have very strong expectations when it comes to um, whoever is there in their care. I am putting all my trust in them. Um, so as an educator, you have to look, um, look at the students that way, that you need to treat them as if they were your own children. Um, with the uppermost respect and love and understanding that you would show for your own child. The students are going to notice um, your facial expression right when they step inside the door. So they're going to visually see if you're smiling, um, greeting students with a good morning or a good afternoon is very important. So setting the tone in the classroom, um, what does that look like? So having a smile on your face when students arrive, that um, means a lot to them. Um, also just a, like saying good morning, um, a simple good morning or good afternoon if it's an afternoon class, um, that means a lot to them. It just shows that you value their presence um, and that you're just not ignoring that they're coming in and sitting down in your class. Um, so every um, teacher wants these three kind of items to take place in their classroom. They want balance, um, they want structure, and they want peace. Um, So if you correlate all three of those things in your classroom, um, this will help you create a good working climate right away. Um, I want to talk about the different ways to start class. So I have four different ways that I choose to start class. Um, there are probably 20 to 25 different ways you could start, um, depending on what you teach in your classroom. Um, but a lot of my prompts for starting class are usually um, art related. So one way is you can start off with a question of the day. So you just post up a question on the board um, and then you let students respond by writing it down. Um, I don't have them yell it out um, because it's supposed to be a quiet activity. So they're about, they're called like the first five minute prompts for the class. Um, and then after they write down the response, I then have like a little mini class discussion on what the prompt was about. Another great idea is just a drawing prompt. So I will say something like, um, what's your favorite, can you draw me your favorite place to be? Um, that could be anywhere they choose. So it could be in their imagination, um, it could be a real place that they like to travel with mom and dad. Um, so that's just like one example of a drawing prompt I may ask students. Um, some kind of breaking the ice movement activities that you can also start the five minute, first five minutes of class if you need them to get up out of their seat. Um, a great one is having them kind of be in a circle. Um, and then you as the teacher will yell out a certain question um, and like step forward if you like Lamborghinis 
um, and then every student that likes Lamborghinis will take one step forward in the circle. And then um, you then instruct them to step back and then you'll ask the next question. So I might say, if your favorite medium to use is paint, step forward and then those students will step forward. Um, that's a really fun game in the first two or three weeks of school um, to do with students. Um, it's an activity that you can do for all the subjects. So no matter what you teach, um, students have a lot of fun with it. Um, it's not just for elementary students either. You could do that with high school students as well. And it kind of, um, it helps them get comfortable in the classroom, both with you as the teacher and with their peers. Another little five minute prompt, um, especially if you're an art educator out there, is just putting a picture on your projector as they're walking in. Um, I use a lot of um, kind of drawing illusionary drawings. I'll put one of those as an example on the board. And then I will state the question underneath of it. Um, what two items do you see in this picture? And they kind of have to think about it and look at the picture and then write it down. So remember, these are things you do right when the students are coming in, you already have it ready to go, and they're quietly coming in, sitting down. Um, the, the advantage of this is they're immediately engaged with what's happening in the classroom the second they step in. So they don't have time to, um, you don't have, there, there's less time for behavior to occur when you already have a set activity um, starting as they walk through the door. So that's kind of the key to always have activities timed throughout the period. So there's no time for behavior. There's no time for them to pick on another student um, or fight over seats. Um, they see that class is basically starting right away when they come in. Um, it's a quiet activity and it's a nice way to transition from um, for letting them settle and then transitioning right to your instruction as well. Um, and it makes a smooth transition for you and the students. What does this do for you as an educator? So I talked about the benefits for the student, um, how it's kind of a quiet transition for them. Um, but for you as an educator, it allows you to take attendance for one. Um, you have about five minutes there. You can see what students you have, who's absent. Um, you also, um, it allows you to see how the kids are feeling in the class and kind of walk around, um, see who's having kind of a troublesome morning or afternoon, um, and maybe who's maybe having trouble following direction, even with the five minute assignment. Um, so that's kind of why that five minute assignment is so important. It gives you time to kind of evaluate your class before you start your formal instruction um, for the students. Um, it also allows for any late arrivals. We all know that students don't all show up on time. Um, some come to school late or things happen in the morning, the buses are late. Um, so you will always have those five or six students that might come in late. Um, so you don't want to start instruction. Like if your class starts at 9, 10, you don't necessarily want to start instruction at 9, 10. Um, you want to do a little warm up activity and give those late students just five minutes there to get in the door, um, and give you their, their late slip, um, and then get started. So that, that there's another benefit there too for doing the five minute um, warm up activities. Um, I really hope you enjoyed some of the things I mentioned in this video. Um, my next video is understanding the demographics of your students. So kind of understanding where they come from, um, understanding nationality. I'm gonna dive really deep into that um, next video. Um, I really hope you guys are finding these videos beneficial. Thank you for watching. Um, definitely like and comment, and don't forget to hit subscribe. Um, 
I would like to say too, um, if you'd like to comment below, that would be awesome. Um, I would love to hear how other educators um, start your classes, or if you are a college student that is learning about um, your degree as an education, and you've learned some other ways um, to start classes, I would love to hear your perspective. Um, definitely comment below um, on the video and uh, let me know. And I guess I will see you guys in the next video. So remember, it's all about the demographics of students. And um, see you in the next one, guys. All right, bye.